Have you ever considered what truly holds value in your life? Is it the shiny sports car in your garage? The designer clothes in your closet? Or the high-tech gadgets that seem to be ever multiplying in your home? Or perhaps, is it something less tangible, less material? Picture this, a man at the peak of his career, a titan in the business world, lies on a sick bed. He's amassed wealth beyond imagination. Yet, apart from his work, he finds little joy. He realizes that all the wealth, the recognition, the material possessions he took pride in have become meaningless as he faces the inevitable end. He understands that while you can hire someone to drive your car to make your money, you can't hire someone to bear your sickness. Material possessions can be replaced once lost, but life, once it slips away, can never be reclaimed. He realizes that despite the stage of life we are at, time is relentless. The curtain will eventually come down for us all. What then should we treasure? Love for family, love for friends, love for your spouse, love for life, cherish yourself and others. As he ages, he learns that a $300 watch and a $30 watch serve the same purpose. Both tell time. A $300 wallet holds the same amount of money as a $30 one. A $150,000 car travels the same roads, covers the same distance as a $30,000 car. They both get you to your destination, whether you drink a $300 bottle of wine or a $10 one. The hangover is the same. Whether you live in a 300 square foot house or a 3,000 square foot mansion, loneliness feels the same. He realizes the true inner happiness doesn't come from material possessions. Scene script, whether you fly first class or economy, if the plane goes down, you go down with it. He urges us to understand that true happiness comes from connections, from conversations, from shared laughter, and memories with friends and loved ones. He leaves us with five undeniable facts of life. Educate children to be happy, not rich, so they understand the value of things, not just their price. Treat food as medicine, or you'll end up eating medicine as food. The one who loves you will find a reason to hold on, amidst a hundred reasons to let go. Understand the difference between being a human being and being human. You are loved at birth, you will be loved at death. In between, you have to manage, in the grand scheme of things. It is not our material possessions, but the love and happiness we cultivate in our lives that truly matters. So, ask yourself again, what truly holds value in your life?